Good morning. How's everybody doing this beautiful Saturday morning? Good? Good to hear it. Good to hear it. How's your family? They good? They driving you crazy yet? No? Well, give it time. I got a few things I want to get off my chest as I'm headed into work this morning. First of all, I've been doing some thinking, which I know is a dangerous concept for me, but I've been doing some thinking just about my my voice, my place in this world, and just how I can use my voice for the greater good. Now, I've always admired people who can like tie into a spiritual not a religious but a spiritual center to be able to draw strength and to be able to draw courage and and mindfulness and I think a lot of guys are scared of that I think a lot of men are scared of that and to be honest I'm still resisting it but I think it's something that can help a lot of people I really do I think it's something that can help a lot of people that mindfulness that that sort of centered nature that some people have. Some people may call it Zen. Some people may call it hippy dippy liberal nonsense. I just call it being connected. You know, I just call it being connected. I call it being grounded and being authentic. And if you've listened to my videos at all, you know that I'm all about authenticity, that I'm all about just unapologetic realness. If you are not real, I don't want anything to do with you. I can, I can smell a fake person from a mile away. I can smell a fake person from a mile away. And once that fake person gets closer, I can smell it even worse. What I mean with this is just be real, be authentic, be yourself, and embrace who you are and work with the best vision of yourself. See yourself in the greatest light, and I guarantee you other people will see you in that light. See yourself in the brightest light and it is a lead pipe 100% Joe Namath Super Bowl 3 level guarantee that other people will see you in the brightest light. Second thing I wanted to mention this morning is doing something so far out of my comfort zone tonight that I'm questioning why I'm even doing it to be honest with you it is a I'm doing a party out at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings tonight sort of a going away party you know sort of a it's not a goodbye but just sort of a thank you and let's get some of the most important people that I know some of the most important people to me get them together under one roof have some eat some good food have some drinks laugh cry and just really my way of saying thank you because 
this year is I've said time and time again this year it, it this has been the most difficult year of my life this has been the most difficult year of my life but it has also been the most productive year of my life of, of at least my adult life and I could not have gotten to where I am, to where I am going, without the love and support of each and every person who's going to be here tonight. And this is not going to be a referendum on just how many people love me. I, that's definitely an Anne Hall way of thinking. But it is a, but I think it's a, just my way of, of saying thank you. My way of saying thank you to, to the great people in my life, the people who have supported me and who have propped me up and who have helped me when, I mean, let's face it, I was in the darkest hole that I have ever been in. But coming out on the other end, I'm the strongest person I've ever been. So, I'm just going to, what I'm going to take on with that is I'm just going to, I'm just going to be chill about it. I'm just going to let it be, let it happen not try to control or or do anything extra like that and finally I know this has been kind of a long video today is kind of a dubious anniversary today I think right after noon sometime. One year ago, my my dad was taken to the hospital. What turns out for the final time. He I'll 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 go more into it as we get closer to next Wednesday, but I think I just want to remind everybody watching this video here today just to take care of yourself and just remember that you are your brother's keeper. You are your sister's keeper. If you if you see somebody in pain, if you see somebody that you want to help, do your best to help them. They've got to want to be helped, obviously, but do your best to help them. And your conscience will be will be grateful. 